Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I am continuing with the weekly run series. That's right, this is week 8, and we are covering and or playing Sword of the Stars of the Pit. This is episode 2, and we are going to continue right from where we left off. So, we will go into the medical hall here and see what awaits us. See some wormies coming up. We will poke them. We will poke them with our sharp object. And we shall try to break into the medical locker. We succeed. I don't know what exactly it is we got from that. Well, we'll find out. Cannot be repaired. Is rather unfortunate. Aha, we got something this time. Some anti-venom, so maybe... Just maybe we can actually cure some of those poisons and or diseases that seem to afflict us with almost everything that we fight. Alright, this is another door trap here. We'll wait and deal with it after we battle this guy. And we don't know what this door trap's going to do. It's not a green one like the last time. Ooh, that thing looks very nasty. It's a voracious Azul pup. Now, I'm not sure whether or not I should shoot that or not. It does look kind of menacing, but we're pretty close to the next level. So I'm going to risk it. We're going to go melee on this guy. Let's see what happens. Oh, my. Oh, he hits really hard. It's okay. We do want to get some distance from that other creature, though. And we want to put some shots into it. With a much gusto, because that thing is not a fun thing to play with. Alright, we got a scent gland. D scent gland. And a giant mitochondria. Alright, our speed has been increased, so that was actually a good trap to trigger. Oh no, we have a robot ready to slay us. And we shall exchange fire with him, and we shall become victorious. Oh, hello, there's another one. And apparently, oh no, we have to reload. And we are victorious yet again! Victory is ours. Now, the good news is, we did just take a tremendously large amount of damage. However, we were successful in our combat. So, those are good things, because now when we level up, which we just did, we will actually get all of our health back. And, well, that's just sweet. So, ooh. Let's see what's in here. More ammunition? Surprise! Alright, sweet. So we got quite a bit more ammunition. We will slaughter these two as they close with us. I found out the keyboard command to uh, skip, your, skip your turn or wait, and it's X instead of spacebar like most games. So, knowing that makes it a little bit easier than having to press the right analog stick in. I always did not enjoy using that in any game. So, yeah, it's nice to have other alternatives here. We will carefully continue to run around, hopefully not overextending ourselves and perishing in a horrible, horrible, grotesque, and gruesome manner. Alright, so... Some open safes here. Or is the plural safes, is it saves? Eh, 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 no, actually, I'm pretty sure it's safes. My voice feels a little uh, raspy today, more than usual, so I apologize if I sound like I just woke up. But it's been at least a few minutes since I woke up. Woken? Woken up? Sure, we'll go with that. I've heard it both ways. Alright, so there we have it. And we get to gather up a digital assistant. Surprise, digital assistant! I think we've cleared another level, guys, and we will continue down to subfloor 6. But before we go down to... Subfloor say ooh. Okay. Apparently I missed a few things. Oh, we are diseased. We have the herps. We are diseased. What I meant the herpaderps. What were you guys thinking? Shame on you. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna heal that one up. It's another one of those weird mutant Zool creatures of death I don't want to deal with right now. So we shall level up. We shall get our pistol, our rifle, and our knife. 
And we will also do mechanical computer. And I guess that's it. So foraging and lock picking is our other options. Well, you know what? I'm going to save the point. I am going to save the point. Apparently we are hungry as well, so we should probably start considering getting some sort of food items into our tummies. That does seem like a wise course of action. We do not have cooked meat. And that is unfortunate. But we do have several other things. Oh, we do have cooked meat. Oh, there we go. Boom. It didn't do as much as I was anticipating it doing. But we have some rations. We can eat those. Get our hunger back up. And our hunger meter is this blue meter down here, if you're wondering. We have some Tarka war bread. Excellent. And all sorts of other random little thingies. Now, this game does have a crafting system. I guess most uh, roguelikes like this generally do, but to be honest, I don't know much about it. I don't really think I've ever run across anything where I could craft. I just am not that good at this game, I suppose. So, my knowledge to crafting will be relatively limited. Regardless, we are going to continue. We're going to go check out this bottom room, because uh, I believe that's the only place that we haven't actually covered yet. And, aha! We can cook more food. Oh, but it's damaged. Do we have the powers to repair it? Let us draw on those powers and... Yes, we do. Sweet. Alright, we can cook some more meat. What? I didn't... Oh, there we go. Just double click. and oh, it adds it. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Sweet, sweet. We'll grab that up. And now we are well cooked. And we are ready to roll. We are insipid and ignorant. Wait, no, that's not it. But we are ready to go to the next subfloor, or cave, or whatever the next area is going to be. And let us see. Quintus Normalis is an achievement I just unlocked. Ah, it says right up here as well. You survive past f floor 5 on normal. Bleh. Floor 5. Well, there we have it, guys. Weekly run successful. Hello, giant, scary, ugly rat creature. So these should be some somewhat new creatures to me. I don't know if I've ever managed to battle these before. But we are going to, in theory, survive long enough to be victorious. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a bat. I think I can handle the bat with my melee weapon. Oh, there's also the trap. Hey, he's behind me. And the worms. The worms are coming. We shall slay the worms. Die, vermi. Yes. Alright, we have some rifle rounds. We have some lock picking to do. And we have a new trap type that we're going to have to be careful of. Because blind in this game is terrible. Blinding traps are absolutely god awful. They are terrible. And in theory, I will find a blinding trap when I'm not in the throes of getting murdered by something. And then it won't be so bad. But then you'll see why it's a horrible, horrible thing. Alright, I got a weapon mod purple. So, what does that mean for us? I don't know. Never had a weapon mod before. Surprise! We're going to learn together. Alright. Bio, mod, mod, yeah. Bio module is designed to alter the function of a weapon in a positive way. Unfortunately, some colored bio, bio mods have malfunctions, so you won't know if this one is good or bad until you identify it or try it. <coughs> well, doesn't that just suck? Or can I say yes? Yes, it just sucks. Alright, we're going to throw this in our sword. Blunter reduced. Damaged... Blunter reduced damage by 10%. Well, that just sucks. Achievement unlocked. Tinker. See, it's the first time I've ever used it. Well, from what everybody has told me, they've never had luck. No one has ever had luck that I know of that has played this game with the Biomods. They try them every time, hoping that something positive will happen, and never one single time yet has anything good ever come of it. 
Knowing this, I still took the risk myself, thinking, hey, maybe I'll be the one that's lucky with a RNG. Nope. Not at all. Well, could not repair that, however... My weapon skill did go... uh-oh. Did go up. Oh, thing closes with me quickly. And we didn't reload, so that's gonna be painful and unsatisfying. Alright, back to our other weapon. So I'm gonna try something here soon, guys, and I don't know how it's gonna go, and I might scrap the whole idea, but I'm gonna take the time and give it a shot. Now, I can't always record because, well, I live with people. Some people get to live alone, and that's wonderful for them. I prefer to live with my wife. It's generally a good thing. And, uh, family, so... That poses a small problem with recording sometimes, because my wife is not always out of the house, and I don't always want her to be out of the house, mind you. Do not get the wrong impression. But, what I plan on doing is trying maybe to do a recording of something, and I'm thinking I might try Dota 2. I might do a Dota 2 game, and record it, and then try post-commentary. Now, I hear a lot of people really hate doing post-commentary, some people prefer it because if they mess up, they can just restart or redo or scrap the whole project to begin with. Me personally, I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'll give it a shot. I think post-commentary might be pretty horrible. That looks different than the other key. I wonder what that does. Well, I'll come back for it after we clear the level and unlock all the doors. Oh. Does that mean there's a robot around me somewhere? Ah, sorry, no. Alright, I don't- oop. Still using my pistol. Gotta switch back to my knife. And... One more hit, down it goes, and we are slowly, but certainly, managing to clear out this area. So I'll give it a shot with post-commentary, that means if it does work and it's acceptable and I don't hate it passionately, and nobody else seems to mind it, I should be able to record easier. And I say easier, but I mean, um... There's times that I don't record simply because I don't get the time alone to do so. If I'm able to do the post-commentary and it turns out okay, well then that won't be an issue anymore. I don't have to record my voice, so I can record at any point and come back and do the commentary. So I'm just trying to open up additional windows of opportunity for you. But we'll see. We'll see how it actually plays out. I somehow doubt that it's going to go well. Well, that's just me. What is this? Well, I think we're going to say a no to the cooking right now because we don't really have much to cook. Oh, and we're going to also say no to this ugly blob thing. And we're going to come in here. Oh. And we're going to poke. And poke again. And there we go. 26% chance to fix it. We'll give it a shot. We probably won't succeed. Ooh, we did. Well, that is just amazing. Alright, we'll give this a shot with a 38% chance. Maybe we'll get lucky twice in a row. Nope, console shuts down. But, regardless... We gave it a shot. We'll give our digital assistant another chance to shine here. And recharges remaining and uncharged items. The digital assistant requires charging. We will do it. There we go. So we used our digital assistant twice, and we managed to reclaim what we lost with uh, the digital assistant from the, the little charging dealy. So that's pretty good. Slowly but surely, we managed to pick off all enemies in our general vicinity. We are once again getting close. Well, right there. We're getting close to leveling, and in fact, we actually did indeed level. And we are trading shots with this robot down here. Oh, and we were victorious. We trade shots with another one. Apparently neither of us are very good at shooting right now. 
But in the end, it looks like I was victorious. Ooh, what's that? Mutation serum. White. No idea what that's going to do for me. But it does exist, and I do now control it. Its destiny is tied to my own in a way I could never imagine. Sounds like the beginning of one of those bad TV shows from the early 90s. Oops. Wrong button! Turn! I poke you! There we go. And an ammo crate will give us an EMP grenade. Well, that is kind of a good thing. That will help with a uh, robot slaughtering. In all forms. Close with me, so that I may poke you to death. Alright, let's check our health. We're pretty low, but I don't think we're at now. We stopped 20 health. Unless this is like a super uber worm, I don't think we have anything to worry about from the worm. However, we could easily do something dumb and get ourselves killed, so... We have to keep that in mind at all times. We could step on a trap, there could be something that walks out just to stab us in the back, or shoot us, mind you. Shooting tends to be even worse than stabbing. The 99% chance, we have picked it, and we have gained another lockpick set. So I suppose anything that we need to pick... Well, see, that's the thing. Lockpicking, you can always repick the lockpicks. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well, we're gonna level first. Because leveling just feels right. And then we are going to go with our pistol, our rifle, and our knife. And then we're gonna go with electronics and computer. We're gonna go with mechanical, medical. That's it. Alright, yep, that's it. There we go. Alright, let's see what the purple trap does. It teleports you. Surprise! Well, there you go. Somewhat interesting. Alright, let's see what this thing on the ground is. I believe it's just another key card. Maybe the area is different, so it looks different. It is a gamma key. I don't know what that means. But, we now have a gamma key. I'm impressed. I know you're impressed. So, we can be impressed together. Alright, down to the next level, and it's a change of scenery. It's the first time I've gotten to this point. I'm sure you're aware of me making the level 5 uh, declaration there. And, ta-da! We got nano reconstructors. There's a... There's a armor locker there. Oh, snap! What's that? I don't know, but I'm about to pick it up and find out. A pocket tesseract. Well, that just sounds exciting. A very high-tech device that curves a small piece of space-time in on itself in order to create a pouch with a storage size of a crate. Well, doesn't that just sound wonderful? I think it does. Alright, well, we'll put this down here, and then we will equip it. And look at that. We just gained a more storage area. There we go. I was wondering why that wasn't moving. Surprise, it's moving now. Alright, let's see here. We have many, many lockpicks. We have our EMP grenade that we'll add over here to the weapon supply. I'm kind of sad that I nerfed my knife, or my sword blade that... What? Really? Interesting. Interesting. No, oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm I'm going crazy. There we go. All right. Um, 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 um nano reconstructors. This this key f will fit all gamma locked doors in this installation. I don't know what a gamma locked door is, but if I did know, I'd feel pretty smart. But instead, I don't. Alright, we're going to eat our cooked food, because once again we seem to be going hungry, and our Tarka war bread. 
And that still didn't quite put me where I was hoping. And we'll eat one of our rations, and, well, we'll continue. Hopefully we find some more food. That seems to be our most pressing, pressing, pressing issue right now, is the lack of food. So, let us go through this door. Let's see what awaits us. Bring it on, robot. One more swing. Nope. Oh, and he's gonna run for it. Curse him. Boy, that doesn't sound pleasant. Well. Well, let's see if thing closes with me. Oh, boy. Alright, so, at this point... We are going to cry because we didn't... Oh boy, we didn't reload our weapon. And that thing hurts tremendously bad. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Get some chitin and some sonic nodules and another one of those hideous, hideous blob monsters. Which we will... Can we shoot it from here? I'd like to say that we can. I am correct in my saying that we can. And down it goes. Oh, he has a friend. Alright, we'll, we'll reload our weapon. And we'll shoot at his friend. And we will hope that we bring him to... Oh, and get another baddie. See, this is why, ladies and gentlefolk, <coughs> this is why we can serve ammunition. Hi. And we are just going to trade hits like a champ. Man, there's all sorts of horrible creatures coming to murder us in here. We shall reload. And shoot. There we go. We'll reload again. We shall break into the freezer and take the stuff. Okay, we have safe cheese and not so safe cheese. Uh oh. Well, disease level 2 is unfriendly and unfortunate. However, there is a medical locker here and a med kit, which is nice because it's something we kind of need. Alright, well our disease is dissipating and we're going to give a shot with our medical dealie. Our med kit, as they say. There we go. Eh. Yay, see I'm trying to use the controller more for things and well it doesn't work all that fantastically well for me all the time. Alright, we're gonna switch back over to our knife. And we'll wait for the worm. And we shall slay the worm. Die worm. Yeah. Okay, so the worm's dead. Open the door that we already used. It's free experience. Why pass it up, right? Am I right? Am I right? All right, beautiful. More rounds for our pistola. Our pistola. See. Nope, nothing in there. Another locked door that we shall take down. Uh oh. Time to switch back to our gun. And down he goes. And I hear all sorts of squeaking and angry bat sounds. So we shall shoot him and stab him with non-bullets. Okay, so we're just, essentially we're just stabbing him. There's definitely no shootage going on. Perhaps in the future there will be some shootage. But there's no way to be sure. And this room seems to go nowhere. But there's a crate with some uh, rifle rounds. Only problem... We have no rifle. I know. I imagine you guys can see, too, how that could be an issue. All these bullets and nothing to shoot it with. Maybe I can throw the bullets at people. Would be pretty awesome. Stasis Pantry. We will use our digital assistant. Maybe, just maybe, it will be enough for us to get in. 
Because we need food. And down he goes. And if you care to keep score, if you look in the top right corner of the screen, it shows that I've made 1,813 moves, whether it's wait, shoot, attack, whatever the case is. Okay. I hear some really angry beast sounds. It looks like my knife is nearly broken at this point. Now, I believe you can actually repair your stuff, too, though don't hold me to that. <laughs> so we will actually... How much durability we got left on it? We have 7 durability. I'm not sure what attacks, and moment, and damage reduction... I don't know what all this stuff is for. Maybe the more it gets damaged, the worse it becomes. I'm not sure. We'll put it, our flashing red knife over there. We will switch to our somewhat gimped sword now. And we will continue. Now, I believe we were... Oh, hello. Alright, so he goes down. We reload our gun. And we take out the sword. And we were interrupted. Hopefully the sword is more powerful. Though, we all know the pen is clearly more powerful than the sword. But that's neither here nor there. I should use my digital assistant again. Uh-oh. That sounds bad. Oh, mine trap. Retreat! Run like the wind! Ooh. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. We're gonna risk it. Hey, it recharged a random item. I wonder what random item it recharged. I wish there was a way of knowing. But, sadly, I do not. Doesn't appear to be my jacket. Maybe it was one of these. It must have been my digital assistant to recharged. Well... Hmm. Well, we shall battle the robot. And in theory, we will slay it. Good. Sounds like something's chasing me, but I didn't see anything. Alright, we will continue forward. There it is. It's a wormies. There's a plethora of wormies chasing me. Hello, worms. Goodbye, worms. And we will come in here into more worms. And we shall slay them all. They shall fall before the might of the swarm. Yeah, so apparently we hit very less often. Wow, I can't even... Are we serious here? I mean... I literally almost died to worms because I can't hit with this blade. That makes me sad. That makes me very sad. Well, let's repair the console. Or blow it up. Either way, I think we got what we needed out of that. We shall heal. Now, I don't know what's coming up. I don't know... Well, I don't really know much more about the game than pretty much what I've shown you thus far. And in fact, I've seen new stuff this time around, so... I'm hoping... that this run goes pretty good, and you guys uh, get a good taste of how this game is supposed to be played. I imagine I've already made several hundred mistakes, and people who are pros at this game are probably weeping at my horribleness as we speak, but all weeping aside blue worms seem scary, so I will shoot a zip blue worm and we'll move once we'll stop our ammo conservation a little bit 
There we go. We shall reload once again, and we'll whip our blade back out. We'll whip out a sling blade, make some French fried taters. That's right. And unfortunately, all computer skill is terrible. Hello. All right. We have one repair remaining, but we have four damaged items now. There's a couple schools of thought here. Or at least I would think so. You can repair your knife, which kind of sucks, but you hit better with it than you do with a stupid blade. Repair your gun, though it's barely been used, or repair our flak vest thingy because, well, that's essentially what we need, and that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna up that. Hopefully, we repair it and don't break it. And we did. We did repair it. So that is good. There's no more repairs remaining, so yeah. Well, that's what a repair station looks like. Did not know. A light weapons locker. Let's hope that we can open this rusty door. And oh boy, Biomod Blue, guys. Well, we're gonna give it a shot. No worries. Ooh. Hey, we can craft stuff now. Interesting. Well, I don't know necessarily what to craft. Um, maybe this, and this, and this? Ah, well, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in there and see what happens. Alright, craft. And, nope. The items used have been destroyed. Well, that sucks. As she just alluded to. Well, unfortunate. But, you know, that's what you risk when you craft. And unfortunately, oh boy, it didn't pay off this particular time. Things trying to close with me. I say good day, sir. Oh, wrong button. And we will reload our pistol. So we don't keep making that same mistake. And I believe we're going to go down to the next level. Give me one sec, guys. I would like to double check to make sure we are on point, and we are. And, well, I suppose before we go down, I, I was going to go down and clear the room and then exit and end the wonderful episode here. But I suppose we'll end it before we go down. It leaves you guys something to look forward to in episode three. So thank you for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe, share it if you feel so inclined. Hopefully you guys enjoyed th this choice for the weekly runs. This has been a game that, well, like I said, I tried getting going a few times. It just never really came to fruition, and now it finally has. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be back with episode 3, and I will see you guys then. Until that time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bobby McSquiggums, and I will see you later. Later.